Operation. We will demonstrate proper startup and operation methods using Thompson's EP250 control panel. The panel is simple to operate and although it has many advanced features, it is similar to other control panels. The control panel on the diesel engine includes the tachometer, which displays the speed of the engine and pump end, the hour meter, which records how many hours the engine has run, the oil pressure gauge, the water temperature gauge, and the voltmeter, showing the performance of the alternator. Tattletail buttons are not necessary as those capabilities are built into the control panel. Gauges are set to shut down the engine automatically if certain extreme conditions exist. If oil pressure drops to 20 psi or if the water temperature in the cooling system rises to 230 degrees Fahrenheit, the engine will automatically shut down. Do not disengage or bypass any safety shutdown devices. This is a dry priming pump, thus it is not necessary to fill the pump casing with water before starting. To start the pump to run in manual control mode, simply turn the key to the far right and release. To start the pump to run in automatic control mode, begin by manually testing and operating the float system. Then turn the key to the far left and press auto. Once the engine has started, raise the RPM to approximately 1800. As soon as priming is achieved, adjust the speed according to the pump application. Most 4-inch and 6-inch pump systems will prime within a minute. However, the actual time to achieve prime will depend on the height of the suction lift and the size and length of suction hose that is used. Shutting off your Enviro Prime pump is easy. Simply adjust the throttle controls down to idle speed and turn the key to the off position.